Hi, I'm your host Tish Tansel, and this is Urban Heads Living. I'm Chef Tish Tanso and this is Urban Esque Living. Today, I'm going old school down south southern cooking with some red beans and rice. My, does that sound nice? Stay tuned. So, I just moved in with this family and it's embarrassing. The little one, he likes to go outside and crawl around in the giant litter box. I don't know what he's doing. I mean, I was born and I knew how to use the litter box. Look at that! That's disgusting! Oh, poop already! You're making me nervous! Oh, okay, I can't look at this anymore. I really hope he grows out of this, for his sake. Now, come, come on, on. Come on! Right. I know, two seconds. Hang on, just stand still. Stand still, love. Come on, stay! Come on, one second. I know. Just stand still. Come on! Come on! Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Go, go, go! You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of children in foster care who will take you just as you are. Hi, I'm Chef Tish Tanso, and I am the host of Urban Esque Living. I'd like to invite you to join me Saturday afternoons on Comcast TV 68 at 2.30. See you there. Welcome to Urban Esque Living. Now, today we're doing a show on some down-home red beans and rice with some chicken flavor baked in. The first thing I'm going to do is get my flavor base going. And by doing that, what I'm going to do is take my onions and I'm going to start sauteing them. And um, I'm going to use something that's not so southern, some coconut oil. I love using coconut oil in my cooking because it adds so much flavor. So I'm going to do about two tablespoons of oil and I'm going to put them in my induction cooktop and I'm using cast iron today. Cast iron and beans go hand in hand. So we're going to turn this on low and get our oil melted. Now that the oil is in our cast iron pot, I'm going to add my onions and my celery and brown them. Now keep this bowl handy because we're going to be using it once these are brown. So what you're going to do is toss your onions and your celery in your oil and make sure everything's nice and coated. Now while that's going on, what we're going to do is drain our beans. These are our red beans. Now the key to making beans is that they must soak overnight. So these have been soaking since yesterday. And when you soak your beans, make sure that you wash them off a couple of times, swish them around with your hand, and when the water becomes clear, then you know that the beans are nice and clean. You also want to check for small rocks and pebbles in your beans because you don't want anyone eating down and cracking their tooth. And so now our beans are nice and swollen from yesterday, so I'm going to drain the beans. And you need a colander, and you're just going to drain off the water in the sink. Okay, so now our beans are nice and drained, and so you just let those sit to the side until you're ready for them.
And in, in the meantime, you just make sure that your onions and your celery are browning. Okay, so now that our onions and our celery are nice and translucent, I'm going to add our garlic. And that's about a tablespoon of garlic. And we're just gonna stir this in and let it cook a little bit also. Okay, so now our onions and our celery has a nice caramelization going. So what I'm going to do now is add in some delicious scallions and that's gonna add a lot of flavor. Okay, so now we have a wonderful flavor base going on in our bowl. I'm not gonna let the scallions cook too much because they're kind of delicate compared to the onions. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is turn this off and I'm going to actually take my onion mixture out of there and put it back into this bowl. So now I have my onion mixture already ready to go. Everything is sauteed. So what I wanna do is actually brown my chicken. And the chicken is going to add a lot of flavor. Plus if some people like chicken, they can have the chicken. If you don't want to add the chicken to this red beans and rice, you don't have to, but it adds a great deal of flavor. Now there's already some oil that's still left in this cast iron pot, so we don't wanna add another uh, element or more oil to this. The oil in here plus the oil in the chicken skin will help the chicken brown nicely. And as we all know, brown chicken definitely has a lot of flavor. Now, I'm only going to brown one of these chicken legs. As you see, I have two. The other one is for our chicken and rice. And so one is going in our beans and one's going in our rice. So that's going to give us four pieces of delicious chicken and a lot of chicken flavor. Okay, so now I have that one piece of chicken in there and it's starting to brown. I'm going to set this other chicken aside because this is going to come when we do our rice. Okay, so I'm just going to let this chicken brown and it's not going to cook all the way because we are going to be baking these beans in the oven and so this chicken has a long time that it's going to be baking. We just want to get that flavor into that skin. Okay, so now our chicken is browning on both sides. I already browned it on the top the skin side, and I turned it over to let it cook a little bit on the underside, which doesn't have any skin. We want that flavor to build all the way through. Okay, so now the next thing that I'm going to do, because I wanted the chicken to brown, and chicken sometimes has a little bit of liquid in it, and it's difficult to brown your onions and your celery if the chicken is too wet. And so what we do is we brown the chicken after we do the onions and the celery. And so what I'm going to do now is add the onion and the celery back in now that we've gotten past the point where they won't brown because of the chicken. And make sure to get all that terrific flavor out of the bowl. I'm not one that believes in uh, leaving a lot of elements in the bowl. We need all of our flavor. So now everything is in our pot. And I'm gonna just let this cook just a little bit to make sure that our onions and our celery get some of that terrific chicken flavor. Okay, so now our onions and our celery has all been mixed in with the wonderful juices from this juicy piece of chicken thighs. I love chicken thighs, I think that between any part of the chicken, chicken thighs have the most flavor, and I love to use chicken thighs when I cook because it does have a lot of fat, but it's not the kind of fat that's bad for you. Chicken thighs have actually been proven to have very good elements for your body, so chicken thighs have a lot of vitamins, a lot of flavor. I would suggest you try them if that's not your favorite part of the chicken. You might be a fan too. Okay, so now the next step that we're going to do is we're going to add our liquids. 
and I'm using coconut water. I love coconut water in cooking because it makes everything taste so rich. You can add water or you can add broth, but I'm doing coconut water. Now, um, for our beans, we're gonna let them cook a while, so I'm going to add four cups of liquid. This is two cups of coconut water. Okay, so now we've added our coconut water. That was two cups of liquid. Now I'm going to add another two cups of liquid, and what this is is a mixture of some tomato sauce and it's also some chicken drippings left over from when I baked some chicken the other day. Whenever you bake chicken and you have some leftover juices in the pan, save those juices because those are terrific to cook with. And so I'm gonna add two cups of that. And so I had about one and a half cup of liquid left from the chicken, so I just made up the difference with some tomato stock. Okay, so what I'm going to do is let all of this cook and boil before I put my beans in. Because you wanna make sure your water is hot when you cook your beans, otherwise you're gonna to get tough skin, and we don't want tough skin on our beans. And at this point, what I'm also going to do is add in my spices because I want everything really flavorful. This is paprika, and that's about one teaspoon, to one tablespoon of paprika. This is cumin, I love cumin because it adds so much great flavor. This is about a tablespoon of cumin. One terrific bay leaf, and if you've ever cooked with bay leaves, when you are baking, it adds a lot of flavor. So add just one bay leaf, or two small ones if you like. This is turmeric. And of course we have our sea salt. And you can just put in about one tablespoon of salt. And then we have our pepper. Okay, so now that all of this is together in the pot, I'm going to let this come to a boil before I put my beans in. That didn't take long. That's why I love cooking with induction cooking because when you're boiling liquids, it takes a fraction of the time on an induction cooktop as opposed to a gas or an electric cooktop. I'm just gonna turn this off and I'm going to add my beans. And we're just gonna pour those right on top Okay, so now our beans are all stirred in to our base. And the only thing we have to do now is let this cook and let all these delicious flavors merge together. And we're going to do this by putting this entire pot inside of our oven at 350 degrees. Okay, and so we're just gonna let that cook at 350 degrees until those beans are nice and tender and that broth is nice and thick and rich and tasty. It's gonna be so good over our rice. So stay tuned. Nice, Dad. Nice, Dad. Nice, Dad. Charles! Nice, Dad. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of siblings in foster care who take you just as you are. Here we go. We're gonna, we're gonna make some juice. It's gonna be good. She's excited. A little bit of kale. Please don't put this on line. I'm putting it all over the line. It's wet. It needs something. No, it'll go. Don't break my juicer! Looks good. You ready to try it? Come on, baby. Challenge your kids to be active and eat healthy. 
It's okay. Okay, like it. all right. They might surprise you. And she took another sip. You saw it? Search We Can for more ideas on how you and your kids can get healthy together. Welcome to Urban Esque Living. I'm your host, Chef Tish Tansel, and today we're making a duplex meal. We're making red beans and rice with some chicken. And so the first thing that we have done is our red beans. They're in the oven cooking right now. So now what I'm going to do is do the second component of our meal, which is the rice. And so what we're going to do first is, once again, we're going to build our flavor component. And we're going to take our pan, and we're going to be um, sauteing our celery and our onions once again like we just did before. We're going to add a little bit of coconut oil to our pan. That was about a tablespoon, maybe two tablespoons. And we are going to take our celery and we're going to add that into the pan. And we're going to add our onions also. I'm going to hold on to this because I'm going to put this back in after they saute because we're going to add some chicken to this also. So we want to make sure that our onions and our celery gets completely covered with our coconut oil. You can use olive oil if you like olive oil, but I kind of really enjoy the flavor of coconut and it adds a richness to your food without adding a, an extra flavor. Okay, so we have our celery and our onions sauteing in our coconut oil, and we're just gonna let this brown a little bit until it's translucent. Okay, so our onions and our celery are nice and translucent, so I'm gonna add our garlic, and this is about a teaspoon, maybe two teaspoons of garlic. We're adding a lot of flavor. So we're gonna stir our garlic in and saute it just a little bit. We don't want it to burn. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to remove all of this from our pan. And I'm going to put it in a dish because I'm going to grill our chicken. That's our induction cooktop warning us that there's an error. It detects that nothing is on it. So when I put it back, it stops beeping. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're going to get some grill marks on our chicken. And this is our chicken thigh, because you know I love chicken thighs. So we're gonna grill it face down, or skin down, in our pan. And we're gonna get some terrific grill marks on that, and it's gonna add a lot of flavor to our rice. Okay, so now that I got a little bit of the chicken flavor out of the chicken and into my pan, I am going to take the chicken out of here and I'm going to saute my rice. We're building a flavor component on this. So I have a little pan ready. So the next thing you're going to do is just put that rice right on in. And we're going to make sure our rice is covered in our oil. I added about a tablespoon, two tablespoons of the coconut oil. And so the rice is now coated with the oil and some of the chicken drippings. And so we're just going to let this saute until the rice gets a, a nice little golden brown color. Okay, so now our rice is a beautiful golden brown that's going to add a lot of flavor. When you just put the rice in and you don't saute it till it's a golden brown color, you're going to have a kind of a bland rice. And I love flavor without adding a lot of extras to it. And so one of the ways to do that is by sauteing your rice until it's a golden brown. It has a wonderful nutty flavor and it adds another heightened element to your meal. Okay, so now that I have this in, I'm gonna add back in my onions and my celery and my garlic. And we're just gonna stir that around. Okay, so now the onions and the, um, the garlic and the celery is all stirred in with the rice. So now, the only thing left to do, we're gonna put that chicken back over the top. 
So we got our juices also in here. Make sure you keep those juices because chicken flavor is wonderful, especially in rice. And this is like a chicken rice. And it's gonna, I, don't, I think I'm gonna call it coconut chicken rice because we have elements of coconut. We have coconut oil and then we have some coconut water. So we just plop that chicken down right on top of that rice. And so the next thing that I'm going to do is add our coconut water. Now when you're cooking brown rice, you have to remember one cup of brown rice needs four cups of liquid in order to cook. And it's going to cook at 45 minutes. And I'm going to add in my spices. And I have some cumin. And I'm just going to sprinkle that over because I want it to get in the chicken as well. I have some paprika. And like I said, we gotta bring those flavors out in that chicken. So sprinkle it on top of everything. Pepper. And then some salt. And this is kosher salt. You can use sea salt if you like sea salt. And we're just gonna sprinkle that on. Okay, then we're gonna let this come to a boil. Okay, so that didn't take long. Now our liquid mixture in our chicken and rice is boiling. And what we wanna do is make sure that it's hot. We don't wanna set it in the oven with the water of uh, room temperature. We want that water the same temperature as that oven, 350 degrees when we set it in there. Because that way it's going to keep cooking. It's not going to go down in temperature, but it's going to stay at the temperature it is now. So I'm gonna cover this up with my top. Turn this off and we're gonna pop this in the same oven that we have our beans cooking. And if I time this right, our beans and rice are going to be done at the same time and that will be nice. Stay tuned. Thank you, dear. Well, you're very supple. It's like I was at your age. Back then I was a sex expert. Used to call me the buttered biscuit. I know about birth control too. So you can ask me anything, baby. Bedsider.org has birth control information and a lot more. And it's... Have you had sex in this car yet? I'd like to drop out of high school and get a meaningless job that makes me feel bad about myself. I'd like to fall victim to the old boys network. I don't want anybody to notice me. I just want to fly under the radar. I want to splatter against the glass ceiling. I don't have an opinion. I want to be a straight C student. I'm going to be a biomedical engineer. <laughs> I mean, I want to succumb to peer pressure all of my life. I'm going to be a best-selling author <laughs> and win the National Book Award. I'm going to be a marine biologist. Wait, I take my back. I'm going to be a biomedical engineer. I think I'll be the president. I'm going to be secretary of state. World-class chef right here. Race car driver. Artist. Paleontologist. Film director. Surgeon. Teacher. Scientist. Olympian. I'm going to be the boss. I'm going to change the world. Hi, welcome back to Urban Esque Living. And as you remember, we are making some delicious down-home red beans and rice accented with some chicken. And it's all ready. I want you to see what it looks like. Just stick around for a second. Let me get this out of the oven. Now, brace yourself for how delicious this is all going to look. Okay, so look at this. This looks so delicious and it tastes delicious too. This is our coconut chicken and rice. And this is actually a meal by itself as well. This was cooked with our assortment of seasonings. If you have your favorite seasonings at home, please put those into your dishes. Make them your own, make them special. 
This is our red beans and that was cooked with chicken also. And this recipe is also on the Facebook page. Now if you are vegan and you are trying not to eat any meat, feel free to leave the meat element out of this dish. But it adds a lot of flavor. Sometimes I'll eat the meat, sometimes I won't. But I do like the flavor of it. So go to my Facebook page. That's at Facebook slash Tish Tansel. You can tweet me at Twitter at UrbanS.Live or Gmail me at TishTansel at gmail.com. I look forward to hearing from you. Thank you for joining me on this edition of Urban Esque Living. See you next time. What if you could invest in the future? The future of kids, like a stock. Not the kind of stock that's about making money, but a stock for social change. A whole new kind of investment called Better Futures. When you invest, it helps kids go to college. Believe in us, invest in us, watch us grow. My name is Sydney and I'm your dividend. Chef Tish Tanso, the host of Urban as Living. Join me Saturday afternoons at 2.30. I look forward to seeing you. But if you can't catch me on Comcast, you can catch me on Facebook. Go to my Facebook page at Facebook slash Tish Tanso for full episodes. See you soon. I'm a celebrity. I'm a celebrity. I'm a celebrity. I'm a celebrity. If, if I, I told you to do something, you'd do it, right? You'd do it, right? If you want to be cool, that is. I can make you cool. If you want to be popular. If you want to be popular. Like me. If you want to be hot. If you want to be hot. If I told you to dress like me, talk like me, would you? You'd, you'd do, do it, it, right? If, if I, I told you to water runs uphill, would you trust me? me? I'm not a doctor, but I play one on TV. You wouldn't believe me just because I'm famous. Because I'm famous. Because I'm an actor. Because I'm, because I'm a singer. Because I'm, in because I'm a recording because artist. I'm a choreographer. Because, because I play a different person on a TV show. Don't think for yourself. Do you think everything they say is true? true? It's true. Question, Question everything. everything. No one should tell us how we should look. No one should tell you how you should look. Pay attention to the way women and girls are portrayed in the media. On television, movies, magazines, ads. The way we are portrayed. Pay attention to what you're watching. I'm, I'm a, a celebrity. celebrity. So do, do what, what I, I say. say. Watch, watch what you watch. Watch what you watch. Watch what you watch. watch, what you watch.